the picture that we saw emerging last week in the first round really was confirmed uh, yesterday mainly there was really bad result for uh, the far right party of Marine Le Pen they were really hoping they were showing in the poll that they could win one if not two regions but well, they failed to do that if anything they lost ground in all the regions uh, and the one region where they could have won yesterday was the Provence Alpes d'Azur they didn't win uh, there so there's really a change there of what that will mean for Marine Le Pen they've really worked on a revamping kind of exercise in the past couple of years including changing the name of the party from Front National to Rassemblement National whether they try to normalize the party for the past couple of years whether this will change now just 10 months before the presidential election uh, another tendency that was confirmed the centre-right holding pretty well with three of the barons of the centre-right really holding to their uh, seat as president of the regions you have Xavier Bertrand Valérie Pécresse and Laurent Vauquier the three names that emerge now very much the race will be on a which one of these candidates can be the potential opponent to uh, Emmanuel Macron in the presidential election and next year we know that so that, that the race is on for these uh, three names uh, an awful result for La République En Marche as you said it's still just a one-man band it's only just an instrument for one man to win Emmanuel Macron it doesn't have it's not a party that has local grassroots doesn't have local networks and did really badly uh, there and the turnout being abysmal again only 34 uh, percent now the paradox the map hasn't changed at all all the, the regions have remained exactly the way they were in the last election in 2015 uh, and the paradox is that when you look at polls of uh, intention of vote for the presidential election including one that was carried just yesterday Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron still come first so the two parties that did badly in those regional elections are still the ones that come ahead in a potential presidential run and are most likely at the moment to go into the second round so it's really a question that you cannot really extrapolate regional and local elections to a highly personalized uh, run like the presidential one next year so it's a really dichotomy here of what is happening um, now what we know that president macron will want to ignore to a certain extent uh, this result this weekend focus on uh, the big race ahead of him for the next 10 months uh, he's holding today his choose france uh, summit when he receives uh, ceos from across uh, the world to tell them to invest in france so a meeting he has before the Davos conference where he received those international CEOs and he's at the big unveiling this morning in Douai in the north of France where a big giga factory is about to, to be open a 2 billion euros investment being made in France but guess what guess who will be next to him it will be Xavier Bertrand one of the center-right frontrunners a potential opponent to him in the next presidential election because that will be in his northern region so believe me the race for the presidential election is very much on and President Macron won't be able to escape it even this morning guys say this very often but I was chatting to the president myself not two weeks ago uh, about international affairs when I saw him at the G7 as well and, and I have to say whether you uh, like him or not he is a very impressive international mover and shaker he looks right on the world stage is that part of the problem that he's looking too much at the outside about uh, the international issues and not enough at his domestic power base which of course is very fragile at the best of times what is the usual role of the president to a certain extent? The president focuses on the big international picture and uh, the prime minister focuses on more domestic things. The president will give the roadmap and the prime minister is the one that will have to apply it. And look at his personal polling. He's doing very well and he's doing better and better now that the health situation is improving, the economic situation is, is, is improving. He's at 50% of positive uh, opinion, which is unheard of uh, compared to his predecessors at the same time of his presidency. So he's doing okay. So in terms of the presidential election, uh, he could still be the winner as things look at the moment we know that 10 months is a long time in politics but at the moment he's still uh, the favorite now what well, the question of some of these local elections bad results raise is that what did it mean, mean for president macron in the legislative election the parliamentary election that come just a month or two uh, after the presidential one and president without a majority in parliament we really failed to push their agenda through and at the last election president macron had a vast huge solid majority to push his reform agenda through now the question is if he fails to get some of his MPs uh, elected after the presidential election then he will really struggle to push his reform agenda through for his second mandate potential second mandate